very good morning students the topic for today's class is ester formation before we actually move on to the ester formation we need to quickly recap as to what does an ester look like an ester looks like this i have deliberately taken the two r's as a different capital and small but they both are nothing but your alkyl chains that means they are carbon chains when we talk about an ester it actually looks like this but the structural formula is like this mind you just to recall this r cannot be an h while this r can be an h if this r transforms into an h your compound changes from ester to carboxylic acid fine now coming to the formation of an ester now if i want to prepare an ester it is the preparation of an ester that we'll be talking about in this class your ester is prepared from two compounds one is carboxylic acid and second is alcohol both of them combine to give you an ester and while they combine there is a loss of water molecule so you need to add a carboxylic acid you need to add an alcohol and remove a water molecule for formation of an ester now what does a carboxylic acid molecule looks like r c o o h and what does an alcohol look like r o h out of these two if you can remove a water molecule how do i go about that this is my water molecule loss h from here and an oh from here h2o is lost what am i left with we begin from this side r c double bond o o and your small r so this part of the ester is from carboxylic acid while this part of the ester is from alcohol that should be absolutely clear in your carboxylic acid your this particular region of the compound that is your r and the co part comes from carboxylic acid while your r attached to oxygen this particular r comes from alcohol so by looking at the ester you can easily know that which particular alcohol is to be used or which particular carboxylic acid has to be used there can be one more hint let's take i give you an example of an ester as ethyl propanoate now we very well know this ethyl is the part attached to the oxygen and the part attached to the oxygen comes from alcohol which means this ethyl is coming from alcohol which means the alcohol that you need to use is ethanol while when i talk about your propanoid the propanoid part is going to come from acid this part is from your propanoid that is this part should be from your carboxylic acid so the carboxylic acid for the propanoid part will be propanoic acid so if your ester is ethyl propanoate then the two requirements are an alcohol and a carboxylic acid this is from the alcohol side this is from the carboxylic acid side let's do a few examples to get the topic clearer let us take one example to be ch3 coo ch3 now to prepare this particular ester the ester if you want it to be this one then in that case what do you require you require a carboxylic acid plus you require an alcohol now this part comes from carboxylic acid so your carboxylic acid has to be the two carbon carboxylic acid so your ch3cooh is the carboxylic acid required alcohol is the part this side of the ester how many carbon does it have one 
So your alcohol required is CH3OH. If you add these two and remove water. Now by ordering to remove water, this is not going to happen. You will require a reagent which will help you to remove water. Such a reagent is called as dehydrating agent. And this dehydrating agent for ester formation is concentrated sulfuric acid. This catalyzes the reaction by removing water and makes the reaction move in the forward direction. This reaction is also a very slow reaction. It's an equilibrium reaction. You will find the double headed arrow generally mentioned when you prepare an ester. I'll take another example. Let us take the example that I want. The second ester example that I'm doing is I want this ester to be prepared. CH3, CH2, CO4 and the CH3. Now we very well know this part of the ester comes from the alcohol, oxygen part. This part, three carbons, comes from carboxylic acid. So the carboxylic acid that you're going to use should have one, two and three carbons. That's the carboxylic acid required. And the alcohol that you want is only one carbon. So it is methanol. You will add the two. It's an equilibrating reaction. You will write concentrated sulfuric acid here which will help you to remove the water molecule like this. Hence the byproduct in the reaction is water. Always during esterification the byproduct is going to be water molecule. Let's take the second example. If the ester that I want now is This particular compound. Is it an ester? Yet it is. Does it have a CO and an O? It has. There's an R group around oxygen? Yes. There's an R group around the CO? It's an ester. Now, in this particular compound, see it properly. Which is the oxygen side? This side is the oxygen side. So this part now is going to come from alcohol. While which is the carbon side? This part. This is from your carboxylic acid. How many carbon alcohol do you require? Two carbon alcohol. So the alcohol that you will require for this particular compound is going to be CH3, CH2, OH. And the carboxylic acid that you require has to be the three carbons. That is CH3, CH2, COOH. So your alcohol is ethanol, two carbon. And your carboxylic acid is propanoic acid. Now what's the name of this particular compound? According to IUPAC nomenclature, the name is the oxygen side is to be named first. Therefore, ethyl. And the carbon side is to be named later. Therefore, three carbons. So, propanoate. That's the name of the ester that we are going to talk about. Ethyl propanoate. From the name also, you can understand as to how to prepare this ester. This part is coming from ethanol. That's here. This part is coming from carboxylic acid. That's propanoic acid. Add the two. Put a reversible arrow. You will write concentrated sulfuric acid because without the concentrated sulfuric acid, the reaction will not move in the forward direction because this is going to help you to remove the water molecule. It goes from here. Oh, it goes from here. Your byproduct is water in all the reactions which are done for preparation of ester are called as esterification reactions. Fine. With this I end my class of ester formation. Wishing each one of you the very best for your upcoming board examination. Bless you kids.